Welcome home. It's good to see you. I'm Jarrell, and this is Mountain Home, a place where you can share your love of the mountains, music, and everything in between. Today I want to share with you a resonator mandolin. This one in particular is a replica from an instrument from the 1930s. Before we get any farther, I'm going to share some sound samples with you. The sound samples will include playing the instrument solo, as well as together with a resonator bass and a resonator guitar. Please enjoy. This instrument has a bright and vibrant voice with great projection. This makes it ideal for playing in jams, especially outdoors. It has pronounced warm mids and very bright highs, but it's quite weak in the lower register. Mandolin instruments apply downward force with the strings, which results in less sustain and a stronger attack. The resonator mandolin has even less sustain due to the resonator cone being the only resonating surface. It's surprisingly different playing this from a standard mandolin. For starters, there's a lower string clearance, which means you have to get used to playing around that. Maintenance is very different in terms of adjusting the cone tension from season to season and if it starts to sound jangly or it sounds too tight. The instrument itself, this one in particular, has a slightly longer scale length than a standard mandolin, so that does take some getting used to. If you've got some muscle memory for playing a standard mandolin, you're going to have to leave that at the door. The instrument overall has higher sensitivity than a standard mandolin, which means that you don't have to hit the strings as hard. This might be a little difficult if you're accustomed to hitting the strings a bit hard when you're chord bashing. In this situation, you have to avoid hitting the strings too hard. Please enjoy the full band demo with the resonator guitar and a resonator bass. These resonator mandolins are eye-catching, they're charismatic, they've got great stage presence. Whenever I bring this to a music festival or a music jam, it always catches people's attention, it puts a smile on their face, and at the end of the day, that's what music is all about. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or requests, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for coming to visit today. Come home again soon and I'll leave the porch light on for you.